Hello, I'm Diana. As you know, I've been living in Belgium for the past months. And now this is uh, one of the first uh, public appearances of Solonet in Belgium. And we are representing Solonet International in this event in Lille with um, some other NGOs such as uh, Amnesty International or institutions like UNICEF. So we are uh, working, letting people what sort of it is about and learning from other organizations and working together. Welcome at Lier Worldwide, a fair trade event organized by the city Lier and the local NGOs. During this event, the guests could enjoy a nice concert before tasting the wonderful food at the fair trade brunch. The concert took place in the soon to be renovated Jesuiten church. Guests from all over Belgium gathered here to enjoy the music. During the concert there were also short videos, all with the same theme, fair trade, poverty and human rights. This edition of Lier Worldwide was very special. The city Lier was celebrated for being the 100th fair trade city of Belgium. Our mayor and the Council for Cultural and Sustainable Development received a prize from the Fair Trade Committee. During the event, we from Solarnet had the chance to interview some people from other NGOs, such as Luc from Amnesty International. We asked him why it is important for Amnesty to be at this event. Hi everybody, I'm uh, Luc Severins from Amnesty International. Uh, I work for the second in uh, Lier at Antwerp in Belgium. Uh, this event, uh, Lier Wereldwijd, uh, it is called. Uh, it's very important for us uh, in this sense that uh, we used to work uh, uh, on ourselves uh, in, in the town of Lier. So a couple of years ago uh, the city council decided to bring all the, um, all the groups that are working for uh, uh, north-south uh, topics together. Uh, it is very important uh, for us to be here for our visibility that uh, people uh, from Lier and uh, the area know uh, know Amnesty International and also that we uh, get to know the, our counterparts, people that work uh, for the same goals, for uh, the, the human rights around the world and uh, a better world uh, as a whole. We also met Grace who works for Oxfam. We asked her what the benefits are for the small farmers in the third world countries that cooperate with Oxfam. Uh, uh, sufficient income to reinvest in the, in their own communities like build a school or something that, uh, or a hospital or something that would benefit their own people. And this event that we're involved with, Lear Wearer Wear, is really a north-south event here in Lear that serves to raise awareness for the numerous NGOs working in, the, in Lear to um, raise awareness of the plight of people in, in the third world. I'm Phipps uh, and uh, I'm a member of Amnesty International in the local group of Lier. We try to focus uh, along with the items of Amnesty International uh, on the, uh, the slums in uh, all major cities in the world. Uh, there's one action point, the other thing is uh, childbirth. We have uh, greater responsibility in the areas 
where they are really mining and uh, getting the uh, ground, the ground materials uh, up. Uh, there we, we claim also that they should be responsible also for the respect for human rights in the areas as for example in the uh, Niger uh, Delta in uh, Nigeria. League Worldwide was a great success and we can't wait for the 2011 edition. Of course, this event could never be so successful without the help of all the volunteers.